it, we tend to either ignore or get wrong his domestic policy story. Uh, and so, I'm to paraphrase Reagan's famous movie line, we're still left with the question, where's the rest of him? The conventional wisdom still tends to be uh, that uh, the rest of Reagan's presidency was either a fiasco, such as his domestic economic policy. I mean, every other Paul Krugman column these days in the Times seems to be about the disaster of the Reagan era domestically. Uh, or there are other disasters people point to, such as the Iran-Contra scandal, uh, which was a genuine disaster. Um, but my argument is that this disjunction between Reagan's foreign statecraft and his domestic statecraft is a major interpretive mistake. And I think that too many of the treatments of Reagan try to abstract from his ideology, uh, which is, to borrow a line from G.K. Chesterton, like trying to tell the story of a saint without mentioning God. Uh, now, as I say, I have three or four revisions of Reagan in my book. Uh, the chief one is that it tries to reestablish the fundamental unity of Reagan's statecraft through which both foreign and domestic policy should be evaluated together. Reagan's central idea can be summarized as the view that unlimited government, unlimited government, is uh, hostile to individual liberty, both in its vicious forms like communism, but also in its supposedly benign forms like bureaucracy. And Reagan stated more or less uh, uh, this view himself uh, most clearly in his 1982 speech at Westminster in London, where he said, quote, there is a threat posed to human freedom by the enormous power of the modern state. History teaches the dangers of government that overreaches, political control taking precedence over free economic growth, secret police, mindless bureaucracy, all combining to stifle individual excellence and personal freedom. Note the conflation there of secret police and mindless bureaucracy, uh, showing that he regards the phenomenon of political life as a continuum and not simply as you know, the communists being something wholly different from the problems of Western democracies. 